I think Rockville is a ghost town. There's no one here. There are cars. They're pretty new, but... Everything is overgrown, and, and this place... <laughs> it looks totally empty. Like everyone just up and left. The SUV is out of gas, so I'm stuck here until I can figure out a way to remedy that situation. And I'm still by the car. I keep expecting someone to run out here. That's how freshly abandoned this all looks. I feel like I'm trespassing. I'm on what looks like the main street of this town, and I think I see some businesses up ahead, so I guess I'll go have a look around. It looks like a couple of diners and coffee shops. All the things you'd expect to find in a little town. A pharmacy, town hall, gift shop, police station. No lights are on. No doors are propped open. They're not locked, though, either. Hello? Is anyone here? I thought this was just a grocery store, but it looks like they have hardware and tools, too. Everything is covered in... <gasps> <coughs> dust and it smells terrible oh. <sighs> I never thought about how awful freshly abandoned places must smell hello I'm trying to decide if I should go into any of these houses I haven't seen any signs of life but the idea that someone could be in one of these it's freaking me out I keep expecting to see someone move when I look into the windows of these places, and no one's there. There aren't any postings on the doors or on signs around town saying why there's no one here. A mandatory town evacuations are pretty rare, and that's what this looks like to me, but usually the government posts things all over. I also feel like if this was a, an evacuation like that, there would be some kind of indicator, some visible reason big enough for everyone to have abandoned it. Maybe I'll find something in one of these houses, right? Hello? Anyone home? It's locked. I don't know why I was expecting it to be open. I don't feel like I should break a window to get in. I'm just gonna try some of the other houses. I found two other locked houses, but the third one's door was open. It looks like a big family was living here. Kids' drawings on the fridge. Plastic plates and dishes with cartoon characters on them. A bunch of toys in the living room. Being in here feels like a gross invasion of privacy. I'm upstairs now. These people had five kids. Everything is cheery and nice. No big quarantine stickers or letters laying around saying why they left. Just going through their bedrooms. I'm going back downstairs. Only place left is the basement. Of course, none of the lights work, so we're going to do this horror movie style with my phone's flashlight. I've always hated basements. Well, I've always hated stairs going down into basements. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Someone's up there. <sighs> Holy fucking shit. <sighs> I didn't see anyone. <laughs> I didn't see anyone. And it sounded like they were right on top of me. It sounded like they were right behind me. And I don't... I don't know. Fuck. Ugh. There had to have been someone in there. And I'm sure that I closed that door when I came in, but when I ran out, it was open. Someone was in there. Oh, fuck. Someone was in there. I have to get out of here. I've, I have to get out of here. I have to find gas for the car. I have to find gas for the car and get the hell out of here. Okay, Kate. 
What do you know? There was something in that house. Well, you didn't see a person. It, it could have been an animal. A really big fucking animal. Or a person. And if it was a person, they didn't grab you. Or, or shoot you. So it could have been a friendly person. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get a grip. Uh, if it was a nice person, they would have said, Hey, what are you doing in my house? Or, or followed you out. <sighs> but I'm staring at this house from the imagined safety of my car. And no one is there. No one is standing in any of the windows. And that front door is still open. <sighs> what kind of a person? <sighs> no. I can't think like that. I have to I have to get gas. I have to get the fuck out of Dodge. Just go home and just go home. If you go home, you won't find Cody. Cody was on this road. This road leads to this town. Ergo, Cody must have come here. Cody didn't go home. But whoever that was could be dangerous. And right now I'm stranded. Okay. I've got to keep going. I cannot stay here. <sighs> Fuck. I haven't even explored this town, though. I haven't found anything about Cody... And if someone else is here, I I can't be here at nightfall. I need to find what there is to find. I need gas for the car. I need to get the hell away from whoever was in there. No one is coming out of that house. No one is coming out of that house. Just get out of the car. Just get out of the car and do what you need to do. This is the game plan. Find the stuff I need to steal gas. Uh, as a <laughs> novice gasoline thief, I'm assuming that I probably just need a hose to siphon it. So, I'll go to that hardware store. And I'll need a gas can. I also need to find out if Cody was here. And it's a long shot at best, but I'm going to check the police station. And then, I'm getting out of here. If my phone was working, I could figure out how long it takes gasoline to expire. I've never even had to think about that before. If gas expires. It has to, though, right? I figure getting gasoline from the gas station is the safest bet as far as quality is concerned. So that's going to be my first stop after finding the hose and a gas can. I still feel like I'm being watched. I keep looking back in the direction of that house that open door and I I keep expecting someone to be standing there but I can't keep looking back the hardware store is right up ahead I don't think I've forgotten about the psycho whispering people from that story that I found in the shed all of this is adding up to one seriously screwed up trip when I find Cody I'm gonna hug him and I'm going to cry, and then I'm going to smack the shit out of him for making me go through all of this. Clear tubing? Check. Gas can? Double check. My courage is still MIA, but what can you do? I'm at the gas station now, and I'm embarrassed to admit that I still walked up to one of the pumps like it was going to do what I needed it to. But I've located the holes where the trucks fill up the gasoline reserves. But I also think it's got a lock. If my life had included more crime, I would have been able to solve this in no time flat. It would be like, pick the lock, get the gas, be on my merry way. But no, I decided to go to school for business, and I didn't even finish that. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to siphon the gas out of a car. I still haven't seen anyone else, and I was at the gas station for a couple of hours. I rifled through all of the drawers and back rooms trying to see if there was a key to the covers over the tanks. I ended up grabbing some food and water bottles and hauling those back to the car, but no keys. I always forget how eerily quiet abandonments are. I've been to a couple abandoned towns over the years, just out of curiosity, but... I've never been this anxious in one. 
Of course, I, I never had to take anything from an abandonment to survive either. And that's what this is starting to feel like. Like I'm trying to survive instead of just looking for Cody. Alright. First car between me and my SUV. Ugh. Ugh. I really thought I could time that better. Ugh. I should have just stolen a car. Okay. Police station's up ahead. I didn't notice it before, but all the windows are broken out. Maybe someone vandalized the area, but there's no graffiti around here. I always see graffiti when I'm exploring abandoned shit. I don't know what I'm hoping to find. Just something. Anything that can put me toward Cody. I don't know. This town doesn't make any sense. The police back home thought he might have run away, but... Cody wasn't... <coughs> oh, it smells disgusting in here. All of these places smell bad, but it's, it's a rotting food smell. This smells like sewage and dead things. Should have taken one of those respirators from the hardware store. This isn't a big building. Everything is thrown around, though. Papers all over the floor. I think this is the lobby area. There's a metal detector, and I, I think I see some desks and offices in the back. TV has taught me that any important cases will be sitting out on their desks. Common sense tells me that's probably not the way this is going to go. God, I hope all these desks don't have locks on them. Okay, here we go. There's a ton in here. Files, reports, notes. How am I supposed to find anything in this? I have been in here for hours. I don't even think I have a sense of smell anymore. And I just finished the last desk. I've been skimming reports. And it's evening now, so I don't have too long before it gets dark. My eyes are burning from straining to read reports in the dim light. That's my fault, though. I didn't want to open any of the blinds. And I haven't found anything. A couple of references to a Cody that lived here who was charged with aggravated assault and domestic violence. There's another couple of rooms down a hallway to my right. I've been glancing at it every few minutes, terrified I'm going to see someone standing there. And the off chance that there are more files in one of those rooms, I have to go check it out. Interrogation room labeled 1, which tells me that I know what the other three rooms that are numbered are. Yep. Okay. Last door is at the end of the hall, and it's not numbered. <coughs> oh my god! Oh, that's where the smell is coming from! Holy shit! Ugh. Okay. 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 Uh... It's a series of holding cells. It's really dark in here. All the doors to the cells are open. There's writing all over the walls. They can't keep me here. They can't keep me caged up like an animal forever. I need to move. I need to run. I need to get the fuck out of here. Hey! Hey, let me out of this fucking cage! You don't understand! You are blind! You are blind and they are coming! Hey! Let me out! Those things are coming! With their empty eyes and those whispering voices! They're coming and you can't see them unless... It shouldn't have been there. I shouldn't have touched it. I could have sworn I heard him. Whispering to me. God, Emma. I'm so sorry. I know I went too far. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was supposed to be with you forever. I was so angry. I was so mad you were leaving. I'm sorry. 
I heard your voice inside of it, and I, I think I just, I just wanted to be close to you again. And as soon as it had me, you were gone again. You were gone again, and I was left in the void. This empty, dark, this hollow place. I have to get back to where I found this fucking thing. I've got to get back to Ravenwood. That's where you like going, isn't it? Whenever you were upset, that's where you'd go. I never understood that. It's fucking empty. But I have to find you, Emma. I'm going to find you. I have to get out of here. The words are too overlapped and messy to read after that. I can't tell what this guy used to paint all this on the walls. I'm not sure I want to. The answer is either blood or shit. <laughs> I need to leave, but I can't look away. There's something fascinating and horrifying. So what else is descent into madness? And that place he mentions? Ravenwood? He's trying to go back there? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna get back to the car while I've still got a little bit of light left. Oh, thank God. I don't necessarily feel like I've done a good job exploring this place. It's a small town, but having a whole town to comb through for evidence of Cody, it's, it's too much. And I'm scared. I'm scared of whatever I heard in that house. I'm scared of whatever that girl in the woods was writing about. I have no way to contact my family or, or emergency services. I was fucking lucky to find gasoline at all, and even luckier that it didn't kill my engine. So I'm leaving Rockville. If there's nothing in the next town, I might come back here and explore some more, but Highway still hasn't had any other exits. So if Cody came down this way and didn't stay in Rockville, then, then I'm heading the right direction. It got dark really fast. Faster than I was expecting, even. I'm glad I got back to the car when I did, but eventually I'm going to have to sleep. And I'm not seeing any signs for another town, and that means sleeping in the... There's a light in the rearview mirror. A single white light, like, like a headlight, like before. But I was in Rockville all day. I was in Rockville all day and I didn't actually see anyone. Is someone following me?